Big Gumbo Festival, big guy to my left. This is Mr. Bob Howard. He's in the house. Good to see you. Hey, good morning. Welcome back good to, to Studio 10. And Executive Chef Steve is going to town here. Making We've got a, a lot to talk about. What did you say there? You start with making this roux, huh? I'm going to start with making the roux. So okay. we've got equal parts flour and oil. And then I'm just going to stand here. And once you start making the roux, you're fully committed. So I'm going to be stirring for about 15 minutes. Fully committed. You can't stop stirring. <laughs> you got to keep that goodness going. Now, let's talk about this big gumbo festival. Why did you guys get this started? And tell the folks a little bit about it. Well, it actually started about a year and a half ago. <laughs> as uh, We got together with Chef Foles from Louisiana and uh, challenged him to a little uh, fun up in Tuscaloosa. Nice. for uh, tornado relief and uh, uh, it has uh, developed into what we're calling the LA Gumbo Festival. LA standing for where you come from, Louisiana or uh, Lower Alabama and uh, a lot of shared history there. We're using the fact that Mobile used to be the capital of Louisiana to kind of be the the uh, foundation <laughs> of this and get it going a little bit, stirring the pot literally. I so like we're gonna, that. We're going to set the world record for cooking the largest pot of gumbo, uh, have a gumbo cook-off. You got the recipe right there, yeah. Let's take a look at this real quick. <clears throat> 750 pounds of shrimp. 450 pounds of catfish fillets, 100 pounds claw crab meat, 50 pounds white crab meat, 200 pounds diced alligator meat, 25 pounds Louisiana crawfish tails, 85 pounds oysters, and much more. The list goes on with additional gumbo ingredients. That's crazy. And it's all Gulf seafood. Alabama, Louisiana Gulf seafood. Chris Blankenship from Alabama Seafood has helped us a good bit with it and it should be a lot of fun. Definitely and that's why you know it's going to be delicious. We have the local Alabama Gulf seafood stickers out here. We've got a lot of stuff going on. So this is all taking place at the wharf, right? Right. Orange Beach, the wharf, uh, the city of Orange Beach has got behind us and uh, we couldn't have done it obviously without the city or the wharf and uh, uh, we're going to have arts and crafts we're going to have the Tanny Hill uh, Ironworks folks come down. They're going to be set up down there doing some neat stuff with uh, cast iron type stuff. All kinds of uh, different types of art from glass blowing to painting, all types of things like that. Chef Zucker and some of his buddies, uh, Marty Duncan mm -hmm. from the Food Network, uh, Dave Holloway who is the, uh, the, mm -hmm. the gumbo expert is going to be on hand. So it should be a, a ton of fun planning on it being from uh, the 11th uh, through the 13th. And we had uh, Marty from the Food Network on a little earlier as well, and she kept saying over and over, Marty likes to party. So you know it's going to be a party. <laughs> yeah, she's, there. Yeah, uh, she's great at that. Uh, all right, so we've got all this going. We're going to continue to work on this. We're going to tell you more about this big L.A. Gumbo Festival throughout the morning here on Studio 10. We don't have 700 pounds of ingredients, but we do have quite a bit, guys. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to our great kitchen set here on Studio 10. We have a kitchen full of people. David, Steve, Bob, do I have everybody in here? Right. I'm trying to fit in here, here somewhere. <laughs> Making some gumbo. Getting ready for the big gumbo festival happening this Thursday through Saturday, April 11th through 13th at the Wharf in Orange Beach. So you're doing a pretty good job here stirring the pot. And you're actually going to be stirring the pot over from Thursday to Saturday. One of those days. Some of that time period All in there. All of those days, probably. All of them. They're putting you to work, man. I'm telling you, where did this happen? <laughs> I just walked up. I don't know. So tell us about the pot stirrers. I mean, they just get to stir the pots. You're going to have athletes. You're going to have writers. You're going to have yeah. chefs. We're going to have writers. So, some writers, you know, they <laughs> write about here. things. Some can do it. That's right. <laughs> Mr. Holloway can do it. Uh, we're going to have Kenny Stabler, Marty Duncan, uh, Dwight Stevenson, NFL Hall of Famers coming up. Nice. Uh, Jim Smith, the governor chef's coming down. Uh, chef Zucker. And, of course, we've got Chef Fulce and his Louisiana team coming over to uh, see what they got as far as making some gumbo. And it's going to be a lot of fun. It's all, all, uh, in, uh, uh, all about Alabama seafood, all about Gulf seafood. I've mm -hmm. uh, got a lot of good partners helping us out. Uh, Wind Creek Casino and Hotel, uh, Alabama seafood, Louisiana seafood. A uh, lot of folks helping out with this, and we're expecting a lot of fun and a uh, good time. Sounds like it. And Thursday night, right before the big Kenny Chesney concert, which I'm really excited about. I hope I get to go. There's going to be something else exciting. The largest pot of gumbo will be unveiled. And I understand this is the world's largest. That's what we're going for. Okay, so how big is this thing going to be? It's big. It'll be 4,000 pounds of gumbo. Ooh, that's a lot of gumbo. So you're hoping to feed everybody that's there for the Kenny right. Chesney concert. 
Well, we're, we're making it on Saturday. We're going to unveil the pot on okay. Thursday so you can see what's coming. And then Saturday, we have a gumbo competition. We okay. have restaurants. We have foodie division. And then we also have the big pot of gumbo all being made. And we're going to start eating around 11. That sounds good. And also, arts and crafts, kids' activities, music, cooking demonstrations, some animals from the zoo. Right. So something for the entire family. Mm -hmm. So you want to make plans to go down there every day. Right, of course. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, a lot going on. How are things going here? Well, I'm just thinking if we're making 4,000 pounds of gumbo, <laughs> you're right. going to need a bigger spoon. You right. are going to be tired. <laughs> I'm you're just gonna saying. You're going to need a bigger spoon and a lot of stirs. <laughs> you are going to need some help. So what is the next step? So, okay, so what we have in here, we have, we made the roux. We added the uh, mirepoix, which is uh, the Holy Trinity, onion, celery, bell pepper. We added the uh, garlic, the pope. Mm -hmm. We're going to add that now. We added some connect. I like to add to connect into the roux to kind of cook that down a little bit. Okay. Then we have what well, is very unique, our secret ingredient down here on the Gulf Coast is we can get this fabulous stuff called oyster liquor. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that is? I've heard of this. I have never cooked with it. It's actually, when they, when they chuck oysters, they save the liquid inside, so it's got that oyster and a saltiness to it that makes our gumbo special. Okay. And it's hard to get up north. And then we're going to add some nice blue caps out of the Gulf. Hmm. All right. And so what we're doing is actually making a kind of a stock as we make it. We're going to add some more oyster liquor. Okay. And then we're going to let that cook for a little while um, after we add the okra. I don't know that you can get much more in here. Oh, you can. Okay. It's stuff. a little deceiving. We're just getting started. Yeah, we'll wait on that. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to add some tomatoes. And I like to let this cook. We're going to let this cook for a little while. And then at the end, we're going to add some nice Alabama shrimp, some uh, Alabama catfish. Local mm -hmm. claw crab meat. I like claw crab meat in a gumbo because it's got more flavor than, than lump. It's not as pretty, but it's got a lot of flavor. Okay, hey, that's what we like. We like it to taste good. And if you would like this recipe, all you have to do is log on to our Studio 10 tab on fox10tv.com to get it. And we'll see how it all turns out. Hey, you can't stop stirring. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll see how it all turns out in I'm just a few minutes. <laughs> Welcome back to a Great kitchen set here on <laughs> Studio 10 with Bob, David, and Steve. Don't hide behind me. What, what, what are you doing I, I, I here? Got, I got the gumbo. He has the gumbo. Here. So, and you can't leave. You have to make sure you're here. David's still stirring away I know, the gumbo. We, we got our money today. <laughs> right where we left him, stirring that gumbo. Because it is important, right, that you continuously stir to make sure it doesn't stick. Right. And, and, and you know, add that flavor to the pot. Yeah, you don't want to burn it. Once you burn it, burn gumbo is no good. And I know this is going to be good because, I mean, literally, this whole time since our last cooking segment, David has been stirring, stirring, <laughs> stirring. So we want to talk about the big L.A. Gumbo Festival happening this Thursday through Saturday at the Wharf in Orange Beach. You can go get some gumbo yourself. So how do they go? What do they need to do? Give us all well, the details. Well, they need to come down Thursday for the concert, check out the arts and crafts, see the big pot. Come back Friday, have some fun, listen to music, arts and crafts, and then come Saturday, and we're going to have a mess of gumbo down there for you to come by, taste, uh, taste the competitors, vote for who you think is the best, and then taste the big pot. So Thursday is going to be the unveiling of that giant pot of gumbo right before the big Kenny Chesney concert. Then on Saturday, well, you're going to start cooking Thursday, Friday, you got to cook because it's a slow, good process. And Saturday, you get to taste what's in that pot. And again, Steve, how much gumbo are we talking? 4,000 pounds. What do you think about that, Bob? Have you ever had that much gumbo? Close. Yeah. Really? Uh, we, we set the record 3,710 pounds uh, at the uh, LSU Alabama game, right, Dave? Exactly. You remember that one, right? Yeah, I remember that yeah. well. That's yeah. a lot of gumbo. Yeah. I know you're holding this, so I, I, I can't wait to taste it. Okay, so what are the festival times each day, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday? Thursday, uh, weather permitting, we're going to be set up at 4 o'clock. And uh, mm -hmm. like Steve was saying, that's when we'll unveil the pot. Then 11 to 7 on Friday, and 11 to 7 on uh, Saturday. And um, uh, there'll be a lot going on. Uh, that Saturday should be uh, right. a ton of fun. Uh, and our, our uh, title sponsor, uh, Wind Creek is going to be down there with a uh, with a booth as well. They're getting in the competition. Right. Should make things interesting. A lot of gumbo for you to <coughs> eat. A lot of good food. Also some activities for the kids. And there are going to be some animals from the zoo, which you can tell I'm very excited about. In addition to all the gumbo, and this is fantastic. You guys have all done a wonderful job 
So if you're looking for something to do this weekend, here you go. A lot of gumbo, a lot of fun for the entire family. And all of the information is on our website. How long are you going to start that? I'm just wondering. Until Bob later. gives me a raise. <laughs> Until they let you stop. He's always stirring the pot. Oh. oh. All right. Thank Literally. you guys for being here this morning on Studio 10. And we will be right back after this.